I just finished working on this project with the Pi cams. It was very ugly at the beginning, it was hard, very bad quality, but we kept pushing and it's getting, getting interesting now. So here's what I came up with. We started to work on a PyCam version of our multi-camera software a few months ago, but that had nothing to do with our usual bullet time work like this. It was mostly about photogrammetry, which should look like this system with much smaller cameras. And that part is ready. But as we had the equipment and the software, I got interested to see how far we could push it with bullet time and what kind of image quality I could get out of these tiny cameras. My main interest here is the size of them as they can be put super close to each other, giving me my best density ever on a multi-camera structure. Now just as with our Android or DSLR edition, this works with a dashboard to change the camera settings and output settings. We also have our usual instant playback player, our gallery, and tons of functionalities. On the first iteration of the kit, I couldn't get a good calibration as the Pi cam lenses are mounted on thermal paste and can't be placed with precision. This is what I got from this first kit. It's quite shaky. The problem is that these are very wide angle lenses and with the distortion, I really need to have all of the cameras to look at the same center spot. But as I got more hooked about the end result I was getting, we tried to see if we could get rid of that paste to stick the lenses directly to the small boards. It's not perfect, but it's getting close. This is my actual kit. test using continuous light, I'm using 15 Pi cams version 2 on 15 Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with no custom electronic components. Each Pi is sending its data through Ethernet cables to the switches to the laptop. My trigger is a simple Bluetooth PowerPoint presenter, just as usual. But for my shots using an external strobe, we had to design a little PCB to send the signal to my speed light. The board is on the last Pi and linked to the flash via an audio cable and a hot shoe adapter. Any kind of flash can work for this. The Pi cam boards are mounted on laser cut acrylic plates which connect to an extruded aluminum bar via these 3D printed adapters. And that project was a cool experimentation but it's never going to replace my DSLRs of course but it's opening the door to a lot of different ways of using this technology and yes it is compatible with the PyCam HQ, the new one, with a bigger sensor, and we can change the lenses. And actually, I have four units with me. So, we're going to work on that in the upcoming weeks. Mm -hmm.